Hello my viewers. If you have a laptop computer you probably know what this is. It's a battery for a laptop. And you've probably had to replace them time to time. Um, well what to do with the uh, old battery? Well I save them because I take them apart and I'll show you. And here's the laptop battery um, well, out of its case. Six cells and a controller board right here. This controller board is uh, a lot of times the problem. Many times the problem. And the batteries are just fine. But it's not like you're going to go out and buy a, a controller board and uh, replace it. So. Um, I'll, I just go ahead and take these cells and use them for my many projects. These batteries could be a problem because only, it only takes one of these cells to go bad and uh, to, that makes for a bad battery pack. So I'll take this apart and taking these apart you have to be very careful not to short the uh, batteries together, you know, positive and negative and things like that. Uh, so, uh, you kind of have to have some knowledge about uh, what, to sh what you cannot short together uh, before you start ripping these apart or you might just get one blowing up in your face. So, um, let me uh, go ahead and put these on my charger uh, and I'll show you what I do. Well, I have put four of the batteries in my battery charger, and it looks like I might have a bad cell. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let me see what I got on on that one. Uh, 2.59 volts, but we'll see if it charges. If it fully charges and stays there, we'll be good, but otherwise, I don't know. Uh, but these uh, three here look pretty good. Uh, we'll get them up to uh, par and see where we're at. I uh, see that one there is already 4.6 volts, um, 4.07, and that one's at 4.07 here. So, yeah, we'll see where this goes. Now, here's one project I made using those uh, lithium ion cells. It's a solar generator. Um, I could plug in, well, to show you here, first I'll turn the switch on and now our display is coming up right here on the charge controller. That tells me I've got 12.4 volts of power. And so what I plan to do with that power is well, you know, anytime I need uh, 12 volts, I can, I'll have it. Now this is the inside of my um, solar generator. I have a total here of 36 lithium ion cells. I have three banks. There's one bank right there, okay, that are tied in uh, each cell tied in parallel and here's another bank and then here's the other bank they're all tied in parallel then I take those three and tie them in in series um, I have a little um, 15 amp fuse right here in line just kind of a safety thing. I have uh, all my wires here connected uh, using these terminal strips. They're, these are very very handy. I use them all the time in air conditioners. And uh, well, um, the only thing I want to do here yet is is improve on uh, my connections here instead of using like a um, a wire nut. I want to uh, solder this together 
um, just to make a better connection. Uh, let me show you here on the side. This is my 12 volt power outlet here. Of course, I would more than likely use these USB ports here for uh, charging my phones and such things. Here on the side, I went ahead and connected uh, this uh, uh, solar generator controller um, that I had from uh, from a different uh, project um, that uh, will allow me to use these USB ports for charging phones or tablets and such. I don't have a solar panel at this time so here on the controller where you tie in your solar panel I simply put in a a 12 volt receptacle, a plug male type so that I could just uh, plug this into my car while I'm driving to work and keep this charged when the uh, charge gets a little bit low. Okay now in this small case this is kind of my latest project that I built. Um, it's uh, well I, I kind of went from one idea to another and that's why it's, everything's kind of jumbled up in here like it is. As you can see inside here I have 10 of these 18650 cells um, tied in and to get 20 volts I connected uh, the four banks in, in series. So what I have here on the side, in these ports, okay, here, I have the ability to, of course, charge my phones and things um, using these USB ports. And over here, it says 12 volts, but it's really 20. And now the reason I didn't go to 12 volts is because I could have gone to 12 volts and put a small inverter here. Um, and to power a laptop computer. But I decided to go to 20 so I don't need to invert the power. And that is going to save power in itself. Okay, now what I have here is an old laptop computer that I use at work. It's my own computer, but uh, I have to use this to connect to a lot of the rooftop uh, Linux package units uh, that have uh, the large humidatrol boards. Uh, so I was having to run 120 volts uh, up to the roof <laughs> and that's a hassle. So, um, and, and that's because the batteries in this laptop died years ago. So I had to have power uh, either from receptacle, you know, the 120 volt receptacle, or I have to have uh, power going here uh, that's either uh, somewhere between 18 to 24 volts DC. So now I have this, now I have this little power pack here that I can connect. Um, 12 volts. I'll show you. <clears throat> okay. So let's see. Let me turn this on. And now I've got 20 volts plugged into here, going to the laptop, okay, and I'll hit the on button, see, it's powering on, and this is going to save a little bit of work for me when I have to connect to those rooftop package units at work. I've got pair on here too, but uh, mainly what I use uh, is the Microsoft uh, XP. 
That's this is the only uh, computer I have with Windows. All right, here it is. It's running Windows XP just fine on my little uh, uh, battery system here. Um, it's it's going to be a lot easier carrying this up than a bunch of cord <laughs> just to get 120 volts to uh, run this laptop. Oh, uh, there it is. This is my router, and this is one of their bigger reasons why I decided to build the larger um, solar generator. Because I can plug this in direct, okay, to 12 volts, um, right to here. So you see, right now, I'm running my router directly off of this solar generator and uh, that will be great in the event I lose power at least I'll still have the internet this is something a lot of people don't really think about um, you know the, how <laughs> how it'd be nice to have the internet in, in the event of a power loss this solar generator is, as far as the power goes, it's the equivalent of, say, six laptop batteries. Okay, and because I don't have to invert the uh, power to 120 volts, means that I'll be able to uh, take full benefit of the power that I have stored in these batteries. Now, here's another project I've done with these 18650 batteries. Um, and by the way, these four were the ones, the only four out of the six that were in that laptop battery I just showed you that were good. The uh, two of them were bad. So I guess that was the problem with that battery pack. Um, now here I've constructed a string here um, for this drill. Um, now, I did uh, have the, believe it or not, but I did have all of these, these battery holders inside of the uh, actual battery housing. But I gave up try, you know, actually taking this apart every single time I needed to recharge these batteries. Um, and what I've done is, is I've just used this. So I've got to put some batteries back in these battery holders. Okay, just a second. Okay, now off camera I went ahead and put these batteries in their holders. And so what I have is um, these batteries all in series to make uh, 18 volts. Well, what I really have is like 20 volts, but it works great. Um, Either way, uh, as you can see, um, I think. Oh my gosh! Hold on a minute. Uh, one of them don't work, and they all don't work. <laughs> I messed up dealing with that. Okay, and so as you can see, works great. Okay. Now what I've decided to do is to house the battery in here and use some little bungees to strap it to the bottom here. And usually what I do with this drill is pretty light work anyway. So I'll do that off camera. Alright, so here it is. Uh, it may look a little rough, you know, but it works great, believe it or not. Um, and so it is what it is. I, like I said, I, well, I took the NICAD batteries out of this um, drill and put in lithium ions, which are in, inside of this box. There is much you can do after the battery gives out 
on some of these cheaper uh, drills where the drill motor is still good but the battery pack is shot but I refuse to throw away this drill um, and spend a bunch of money on a new one just because the battery pack went bad and I don't I don't feel like buying a new battery pack every time it wears out so I replaced the uh, NICAD batteries with the uh, uh, lithium-ion batteries from laptop battery